This is the face of courage. Today we look at the importance of having courage in taking action and in achieving your goals and use Mahatma Gandhi's life to help guide us. When many of you think of courageous people, chances are you don't think of Mohandas Gandhi, better known as the Mahatma or the Great Soul. However, the man is one of the greatest examples of courage the human race has ever seen, having taken actions that forever changed the world. For me, Gandhi's not just an inspiration, but he's a man whose life has significantly impacted my own and influenced my outlook in life in a way that very, very few have. And his influence stems well beyond me to far greater people than myself. To name just some, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King Jr, Barack Obama, Albert Einstein, Steve Jobs, John Lennon, the Dalai Lama and current Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. However, when people look to Gandhi, most look to his actions of non-violence and resistance and he is rarely recognized for one of his greatest qualities, specifically his incredible courage to stand up for truth, justice and the basic human rights that all people deserve. And this is one of the most important lessons of Gandhi's life that all people should take away and learn from. That you need to be incredibly courageous and even fearless in life for what you believe in. It's not easy, in fact it should be stated that it's incredibly hard. But if it's that important, then not only should you pursue that goal, but it's your obligation and duty to do so. And here's the truth, Gandhi's an amazing example of this because we can learn from him as flawed people, just as he was. He wasn't perfect and very much aware of his vices as a person. As he clearly acknowledges throughout his autobiography, the story of my experiments with truth. Now before I get into the lessons to be learned about having courage to follow through in your purpose in life, if you find today's video of value please consider sharing it on places where people might find it of interest to help grow this amazing community and help people take action in life. If you are new to the channel I'd like to welcome you and please consider subscribing for more practical advice to help inspire you to give the world the best of yourself. So what is it that we need to do to be courageous? The first is to know your purpose. In order to take action in life, you first need to have an extremely clear understanding of what it is you are working towards. This can be described as your life's goal or vision, but the key is you have to know what it is you are trying to achieve. Why is this? The truth is, if you know with the absolute certainty what it is you are working towards, you will be significantly more likely to follow through to achieve that goal. In the case of Gandhi, his purpose was clear as he wanted to right the injustices of the rights and freedom of the Indian people under the rule of the British Empire. This wasn't just something that came from a whim. He grew up under the British rule and despite trying to integrate into British civilization, he came to understand that no matter what he did, he would never be considered of the same standing as those who imposed rule on him and so many others in that period of time. This was most evident during his time in South Africa, after he was thrown off a train for sitting in first class with a valid ticket, solely on the basis of his ethnic background. And often this is where the journey of so many can often begin. We often find and understand our purpose from our own experiences and those of others around us. For Gandhi, it was the oppression that the Indian people faced during his life. You see, by having a clear purpose, your goal is no longer just a wish you would like to make reality, but an absolute necessity in life that you must reach. Which leads us nicely to the next point. You might have your purpose in life, but you need to question it as stringently as you possibly can. Why do you need to do this? It's because your reason for questioning it is to understand whether it must be something you have to achieve in life, or whether it's something you would like to be a part of your life. You see, by removing all doubt that you might have about whether you want to pursue it or not, you go from having any doubts to pushing forward regardless of them. This is fundamental because this attitude will be what keeps you going when you hit the hard times and question whether you should continue through with what you started. Even Gandhi had his moments of doubt and questioning himself and his ability to fulfil his goal to free India. 
However, his purpose was always bigger than him as an individual. It wasn't just about him anymore, and he couldn't just stop when going through a difficult moment, as he had to pursue his goal. This is a key point in defining your purpose. What you'll often find is those who find purpose in life don't just make it about them, but rather make it about what they can give to others. You see, satisfaction comes from what you give, not what you take. And when you make yourself responsible to others, you will ultimately be significantly more likely to do what you can to achieve your goal than if you don't have a responsibility to anyone. This goes on to our next point. Find people who can support you in your journey. It's much less scary to face challenges when with others than alone, as you can support each other through good times and bad. This is easier today than ever before with the advent of technology, and specifically the net, where people can find communities of like-minded people much more easily than ever before. Gandhi wasn't alone in fighting for freedom for a nation, he had the following and support of hundreds and millions to help him fight his battle. There were people with power and influence, to people who may not have had much clout in the political spectrum, but who were ready to offer themselves in service to the cause. Find people, as in numbers you can grow in strength and courage to fulfil the desired outcome. The next point to developing courage in achieving your dream is to remove your excuses. You see, as many people hit issues when trying to work on their dream, they will naturally seek excuses to stop when things are getting tough. The most obvious example is that they say they don't have time. First of all, time is never a factor if you already have considered the previous points, as you will find ways to make time for what's important to you. However, this is always the case. For any possible excuses, you need to have the mindset to disregard them and maintain courage in trying to follow through in achieving your goal. Gandhi had the most valid reason to stop for his fight for freedom as he was literally asking people to lay their lives on the line in the name of Satyagraha and Ahimsa. However, he had to put the excuses aside because attaining the freedom of a mass group of people was significantly more important in the greater scope of things. And this leads us to the next point. By having a mindset to keep going in the hardest of times, we build confidence that will ultimately help us achieve our goal. Confidence builds courage, as it increases our belief that we can achieve our goals. To build confidence, build the references to help support your belief that you can use to help you be successful in achieving your desired outcome. This might be the small wins, this might be the support of others, or it might be done by educating and learning for yourself that you are on the right path to achieving your goal. For Gandhi, all of these points were applicable. As he often recounts little wins against the British Empire in his book, he speaks about how others pushed him to keep going and devoted support for his movement, and he spent time learning not just how to act out his movement, but also about how the British system worked and operated to allow him to find weaknesses to target. And finally, it comes down to the age-old saying, to build courage you have to take action. Massive action. If you don't take action, nothing happens, so you're no better than where you were to begin with. Even if you do take actions, you will hit failures. However, it's by doing this and from these negative experiences that you learn, grow, build confidence and ultimately develop the courage to keep going. When you start, you have to ensure you don't stop. Keep taking action and grow and improve by doing so. Gandhi's Satyagraha movement suffered many setbacks when he pursued freedom. However, it was by continuing to take action and staying fully committed to his goal that he eventually achieved his goal. This was no more evident than possibly the most symbolic gesture of his movement, the Salt March, also known as the Nandi Satyagraha. This action was done against British rule after he had been repeatedly warned of the potential consequences this action might have. However, he took action regardless in what is now recognised as one of the most iconic moments in the storied history of the Indian subcontinent. This action was to change the world forever and showed the world that a skinny man dressed in nothing but a dhoti had the incredible courage to take on one of the most powerful empires in the history of mankind.
I regard myself as a soldier, though a soldier of peace. Moi, je me considère comme un soldat, quand même, un soldat de la paix. I know the value of discipline and truth. Je sais très bien la valeur de la discipline et de la vérité. I must ask you to believe me when I say that I have never made a statement of this description that the masses of India, if it became necessary, would resort to violence. En attendant, laissez-moi vous dire que je n'ai jamais dit que les masses de l'Inde, si c'était nécessaire, recourraient à la violence. I regard myself as incapable in my lucid moments of having, uh, of making a statement of this character. It is complete independence that we want. I would like to know, does Gandhi's life inspire you to take action? And if so, how? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with friends and family and consider subscribing for more content like this.